Hey, what's up everybody? It's Jay Dreamers, and I'm going to show you very convincing proof that I found to show you that they are not in space when they tell you that they're aboard the space station. So I'm going to play this video of actor Scott Kelly pretending to be in space, and I've slowed it down a lot. I'm going to go through it, and some things I'm, I want you guys to focus on right now. Did you see that, where he was just now looking? All right, I'm going to play it again. Watch his eyes throughout this video. He's looking at a monitor up there. There's a monitor back here behind the camera somewhere. And he looks at it a lot throughout this video. Now, the next thing I want to show you guys is these little paddle thingies right here. They already have water on them. He's he's going to pretend to like, you know, start playing ping pong for the first time. But he, they already have water on them. Now, you may have already noticed, but watch this. When he, when he separates these two paddles, watch right here. Do you see that? That's water coming right off of it. Now, I'm going to go straight. Now, watch where that water goes. Did you see how it went down here? It started to curve downward. I'm going to replay it again. Oops, hold on. All right, now watch where this water goes. Watch the droplet. I'm going to scroll my mouse straight across. Here it goes. Okay, now it should be going straight, right? It went up, then it was going straight across. And then it starts to droop down below that blue backpack looking thing. Okay, so clearly the water should not have an arc to it in space, right? It shouldn't go up and then down. But you may not have noticed that there were some other water droplets at the exact same time. Did you see this one around his neck? I'll play it again. Do you see that one? It slows down and then it starts to fall this way. And then it kind of disappears in somewhere in this area. Let's look at that one again. The video is a little choppy. Sorry about that. All right, let's go back. Now watch. Oh, there goes the water droplet off his shoulder. It's going to curve around. It's going to go towards his neck. Then it's going to slowly start to drop right there. I want to play that one a few times. There it was on his shoulder. There it is going this way towards his neck. It stops. And then it starts to go downward. All right, one more time. There it goes this way, then it curves this way. And it's going to slow down right up there around his neck, and it's going to drop down this way. Okay, so that's two water droplets that have now shown you some sort of weird curving angles. And if it's in space, they should just shoot straight off. That's my opinion. Now, I'm going to fast forward a little bit to when he grabs his little water bottle and lets some water squirt out of it unintentionally. He wants to try to open this up. Now, before I play this, I want you to pay special attention to this guy's eyes. Aside from having really creepy eyes, and aside from the lighting on his head not reflecting the lights that are in the background, notice how this light up here isn't even on, right? And he's way too bright, meaning this is all set up, and he's going to be looking at this camera that's in the background, kind of up in this area behind our view. So let's watch him open up this little water thing. He's going to try to open it up and make you know, a little water ball, but on accident, water squirts out. Now watch what happens to the water that squirts out. Do you see that? It all went like up in that direction. Now I'm going to replay it again because there's more to it. All right, now you'll see the ones that go straight up, but keep your eye in this area. Because some of them don't go straight up. See that? See how they went up and then curved downward? And then he moves his paddles slightly this way to catch the ones that fell down? 
Let me play it again for you. Now watch. Try not to look at the ones that go straight up because those are the bigger ones. Look at the smaller ones that lag behind. See? Now watch what happens. Watch what he does. He knows what's going on. I want you to pay special attention to his actual eyes. I wish I could zoom in a little further for you guys, but watch watch his eyes. He looks at the camera. Now, right when he squirts, both eyes are looking down at the tube, right? But watch this eye over here. This eye is going to actually slightly shift over in this direction and start looking at the paddles because he starts to move the paddles in order to catch the little tricklets of water that start falling off in this direction. Watch his eyes this time. Watch his eyes shift. See his eyes starting to move, especially as that paddle moves. See? Now he's looking in this general area. He's he's using his peripheral peripheral vision to like watch what's going on over here. He's very observant. Even though he's an actor and we don't really like him, he is being pretty observant. Let's watch it all again. This time I'll just let it play. All right, now watch his eyes. He's going to look right at the nozzle. It's going to squirt. Then he's going to shift his hand over to catch the pieces that fall off to the side. And you can see his eye move over because he's watching this because he doesn't want to give away what's going on. And what's going on is that these water droplets have like a curving uh, – they're moving in weird curving directions, and they shouldn't be. Just like the main ones went straight up like that from all the force, all the rest of them should have followed suit. But instead, you have some. You have some that'll kind of go up a little bit, and then all of a sudden they'll go this way. These ones right here, they go up, and then they go straight across. And then he tries his hardest to catch them with his little paddle. But then you have these other ones that go up and then they curve down and he tries to catch them. All right, so I'm going to fast forward a little bit more towards his little – the time where he plays ping pong. Now watch his eyes throughout this entire thing. He's going to constantly reference this monitor that's in front of him. I don't know why he would need to look at a monitor when he's doing all this stuff live. It doesn't make sense to me unless there's some sort of computer graphics at play, whether it be a blue screen background or CGI water. I'm not sure. I don't think that the other water was CGI, so it's possible it might not be. They just might be in a zero-gravity plane. But his eyes are very suspect, and all this, all this light is really suspect to me too. Now, see, he's looking totally at the monitor right now. He's seeing, he's watching this on the monitor in front of him. So he looks at the monitor in order to try to figure out, it seems, where he should look next in real life. And you'll also notice he doesn't have to look exactly at the monitor. He's already shown us that he can use his peripheral vision in order to see something. He can make it look like he's looking here, but through his peripheral, he's looking at the monitor. See what I mean? Watch. We'll see lots of examples of this. All right. So now – oh, he shifted over and looked at the monitor. Now he looked back at the paddle. Okay, now it seems – now I think that he's looking at the monitor through his peripheral trying to see how he should be moving. So now he's looking down here at the paddle, not at this, but he's looking at the paddle. Now all of a sudden he looks up here. Now watch. He's looking at the monitor again. He's not looking up here at the other paddle. He's looking at the monitor to see where this droplet is. Now he's looking at the monitor, but after he blinks, he looks up at the paddle 
Did you see that? Let me play that one more time. Okay, so the water droplet's going down. Now he looks at the monitor to see when he should be slightly moving this hand. He's going to blink, and then he's going to look at the actual paddle up here. Now he's like, oh, okay, I should be looking in this area. Oh, wait, should I be looking up here? And he's trying his hardest to figure out where he should be looking. See all the concentration in his face? It really shouldn't take that much concentration to, like, play ping pong, you know, to hold a paddle and just knock some water up and down. He's really concentrating. And looks like he has to go to the bathroom. <laughs> but to me, I think he looks like he's really concentrating because he is. Like, he's seriously, seriously concentrating. Now, clearly, he's not concentrating because he's worried about the water getting everywhere because he's already flicked water all over the place, you know, all over these wires back here and all over the laptop that's hanging off on the side and whatever this electrical equipment is. He's already flicked water everywhere. So he's not concentrating in order to keep this thing from splattering. He's concentrating because he's trying to use his peripheral vision to look at the monitor in front of him to see where his eyes should be focused on. It's a magician trick. And all this in front of you with the hands is just a distraction. Anyways, I hope you, watch, I hope you liked the video. And uh, leave me your comments. Let me know what you think.